Hello, this is Kim, June 4th, with my horse Jules, doing this video for my three-week post-operative update on my, for my prior chronic recurring subluxation, posterior dislocation of my left proximal tip fib joint, as my horse is just wanting her carrots. She already had her work out in the arena earlier. Anyhow, I want to give this update to both my Dr. Main in Macon, Missouri, who did the surgery, and to my internet viewing audience that will read my blog. This blog will ultimately be connected with my website that's currently published is si-instability.com. And of course, Jules wants her apples. Good girl. Anyhow, here's my surgery. There's still bruising, but we're doing good. So I'm going to get down on the floor here and do a little demonstration of how I'm doing with my range of motion, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll get, let Jules have her apple and I'll let her go, go graze. Here. There. Stay there. Anyhow, I wanted to just demonstrate, I'm not pulling on my foot, but I'm just using this as a guide to show that I'm doing really well with my range of motion. And physical therapist has me kind of going side to side. Again, I'm not really pulling on my foot. The main criterion with this surgery according to my doctor, was to be non-weight bearing. I'm at three weeks non-weight bearing. I've got three more complete weeks to go. But the idea was to do physical therapy and get all, you know, get all the range of motion and work the tissue um, so that it's flexible. And I feel like I'm doing really well. Um, let's see. You know, doing you know, stuff to keep the hip activated. really good flexion. I kind of really like to support it when I do extension. Now it's not to say I don't have pain. I have nerve pain that can run right through this area right here, like just right down this area. But each day has gotten better since surgery. Like I said, some tingling, some burning sensations through here, and I really still really bruised right here, really bruised. And See the back of my leg, still pretty bruised there. But I've done more massage therapy in the last few days, you know, to to work the tissue just as I can handle it, not nothing too deep. I've done a lot of essential oils, frankincense, heliochrism, wheat germ oil over the scar. It's doing really well. And the other part of the tightrope fixation goes from the fibula head through and comes out on the tibia here, right there and right there, you can feel two little ends where the tightrope fixation went through the knee. Um, as, I, as I flex it more in that direction, I get a little more zingers going down my ankle and my ankle still swells in this area. And again, the nerve, the superficial perennial nerve distribution right through here is affected and I still get down the deep perennial nerve here's affected. I'm not doing too bad because I've had fasciotomies and nerve decompressions last year both of my deep nerve, my superficial, my common and my proximal tibial nerve on my previous nerve surgeries and you can see my website for those stories under the peripheral nerve surgery blog and I'm kind of glad I had those done if I hadn't had those done and I'd had this surgery, I probably would have even worse nerve symptoms because there would have been more compression because I did have localized compression neuropathies of those nerves that they have been now decompressed. So at least the flow of the nerve from aggravation of this surgery is not too bad. So there it is. 
Just wanted to show everybody, and we'll update this blog again here in the very near future. Thank you.